you and KC, man, um, what happened between both of y'all? Because I heard that he fired you because you slept with Mary. Yeah, I think I think K got in his feelings, and KC and JoJo have always been like a brother to me. You know, I would catch them when they come in and out of town uh, during different shows, and they, at that time, rem remained to be some of the guys from Hollywood that I looked up to that always kind of kept it real. Uh, after some years went by, uh, I sang backgrounds for Tina Marie. Um, then I went out with Norman Connors for a little while, and then I started going out with Casey and JoJo. Uh, man, and that was the time of my life because I had an opportunity to be amongst my peers again. You know what I mean? To be backstage with all of the people that you know I kind of seen back in the day, and to meet other people that was coming up in the business. And uh, I was out on the road with Casey and JoJo probably about five or six years. You know, during the good times, uh, during bad times where, you know, where people seen the viral videos of, you know, them being drunk on stage, me holding them down when one can't sing, you know, myself in Showtime, shout out to Showtime, that's my boy that sung backgrounds as well. We called ourselves the vocal assassins. And when Kay couldn't sing, uh, Showtime would sing for him. And, you know, when JoJo wasn't feeling well, I'll make sure that I handle the part. JoJo would look at me and say, I got it. Or, you know, I'll make sure that he, they were taken care of. And uh, we went on tour with Jodeci. Uh, in, the, in the middle of us going on tour with Jodeci, you know, that's when, no, a little bit before, yeah, us going on tour with Jodeci. That's when everybody on the tour bus started reading my book, Stranded on Death Row. By the way, it's available on all platforms. <laughs> Uh, on Barnes and Noble, uh, anyway, and Amazon. And anyway, they read the book on the bus and everybody, you know, we always joking. I mean, you know what I mean? You, you get on the tour bus, you never know, man. It's always pranks. It's everybody always making jokes. And, you know, uh, people was making, you know, kind of like, man, yeah, so you was with, with Mary. And, da -da 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 -da, and they just be laughing about it. And it really wasn't on a disrespectful end, but they kind of always brought it up. And Kay, you could tell he was kind of in his feelings about it. And we got to one city and we, I know we were laughing and joking about some stuff. And we got to one city and KC just kind of just flipped out. You know, started telling me, you know, I'm your boss. And da 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 da. -da. And as I told, you know, told him, you know, you know my motherfucking boss. You know, I sing backgrounds. It's, it's a work for hire. Boss mean when I'm not out on the road with your ass, I can still get a check. Um, so we kind of exchanged some words. And after my book being out for a while, uh, we were getting ready to gear up for some more shows. And they never called me back again for any shows. Uh, I was kind of like fired, third party uh, fired. And uh, I, I think I talked to JoJo maybe a couple times. I haven't seen KC or talked to him since. But uh, I lost a lot of respect for them, to be honest. You know, JoJo and I was were, were more cool. Uh, we still cool. JoJo always showed me love. But they they all be doing a little funny shit. You know what I mean? I understand because they're brothers. And together, as a brother, as brothers, like, just because of that, like, I, I'm kind of disappointed and let down. Let I was kind of let down by both of them. The way that they kind of did things. When I was singing background for them, I depended on it. My rent depended on it. My, you know, we. I depended to that. That was my livelihood. And, you know, even during the time now that I can look at, I look at it. Uh, uh, when I was around them, you know, they never done extras anyway. Not that you expect people to do extras, but do you? If they're not the extras. You can be brothers to them. They're not. I mean, I remember being out on the road with them and singing backgrounds on my birthday and they ask, don't even say happy birthday or here's a birthday drink or we do a Christmas show. I don't remember them turning around telling everybody Merry Christmas or anything. So that whole click of Jodeci has always been about themselves. And that's cool. That's them. You know what I mean? I, I, I'm, I guess that's Hollywood, I should say. I'm more let down on the brotherhood side. I felt like they were brothers to me. Uh, but hey, Thanks for the opportunity with me being out on the road with them 
you know, feed me for the time that I was there. That's it. But other than that, I, ain't, I don't. Me and JoJo are cool. Devontae and Diamond, I mean, it's whatever. But I, I don't know if I've ever, ever talked to Casey again. Oh, yeah. Face that. So he really got in his feelings because you slept with Mary. Yeah. I think so. He was abusive to her, right? Yeah, she is. She, when I know when we was together, she was jumping on the floor like it was at KC. And it was a room service bringing us food. And it was said that he was kind of fighting her during, around that time and stuff like that. And she was kind of scared of him. But, I mean, that was like, what, 20 years, 10, 15 years previous? And, yeah, I mean, 20 years later, he, I'm hearing this story. And this man was at this time, he was about to get married. Like, what does it matter? Niggas be doing this to each other all the time. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't feel sorry for him. So you and Mary was in a hotel room in room service. They knocked on the door and she got scared because she thought it was Casey. Yeah, I mean, you know, when she was when we were together, we was in a room and she was drinking. We was drinking. And the room service was bringing us more drinks. And she would jump on the floor. She jumped on the floor behind the couch. Like and hid because she thought it was Casey at the door. I don't know what the f that was about, but it sounded like abuse to me. It sounded like there was some abusive guys over there in that clique that <laughs> I'm just playing. Whole East Coast click. Yeah, that's lame, man. They're getting your feelings over that, man. Over a female you're not even with no more. Yeah, man. And them brothers, man. KC done slept with JoJo people. And I mean, man, that don't start that shit. Don't point me out because it was her. But KC's still in his feelings about Mary. So, I mean, it showed in that Mother's Day thing. We did a Mother's Day thing, and I was kind of uncomfortable because I, we did this Mother's Day thing for DJ Khaled. And uh, we did the performance and Mary J was on the, sh this was the first time she was on the show and I hadn't been around her in a while. And uh, KC was on the show. So I think that's what really made him upset because we did this show together. And his name was clowning. Like that's when he ran up in front of him singing and sung in front of Mary Mama. He was clowning that night. Like he had to do his extras that night. And then the next time, um, I think we weren't able to be around her when we did the Tom during the morning cruise. Uh, she was coming in to perform and the day that she came in to perform they made sure that they kept us on one side of the cruise ship we couldn't even see the show so and I was uncomfortable as hell up there singing and knowing that I was in the room and I don't know if Mary heard of the stories that I said or, or you know but I was uncomfortable as hell for sure <laughs>